All right, Flat Rate Mechanic here, and um, we had a Nissan front Frontier in here today, um, and I had some EVAP codes. As you can see right here, we had a P1444 purge volume control, P0455 large EVAP leak, and a P1448 canister vent malfunction. Now, basically all these same codes are, um, they're actually all kind of related on this one. Basically what it's telling me is um, we definitely have a malfunction in the EVAP system. And more than likely, it is just a large leak. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys on here is what I found and uh, what you should probably try and avoid uh, as far as parts go when you're replacing uh, EVAP stuff on uh, these Nissans. But anyways, first thing I did, I went ahead and hooked up the smoke machine to uh, check for leaks. And I also, uh, I actually, man I actually, the first thing I did is I removed this purge valve and I bench tested it manually and that checked checked good. Second, I smoked it and while I was smoking it, I activated the uh, the vent valve, which is right here. I activated this with a scan tool and I could actually hear this, hear it click and um, smoke was still coming out of it. So indicating me electronically, this thing's trying to close, but it was still leaking and I was still having smoke come out and it was very apparent. Now this truck has been back for the same code. This is the second time and we had already replaced this uh, vent valve as bad part once with a Dorman unit. And um, upon looking in here, once I got it removed, you can see that spring is cocked off to the side. That's actually inside the valve. So the valve's opening, the valve is functioning electronically, but it's not sealing because that spring is broken inside of there. So what I actually did is um, I had to get a Nissan. I got one from Nissan because I didn't want it to be... Um, messing around and have this guy have to come back again with a check engine light but uh we put a new vent valve in there uh we re-smoked it and everything checked good but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where that is on um the purge valve is normally going to be underneath the hood but the vent valve is usually always going to be located on the canister and uh, i'll show you guys where that is on this one All right, so I actually had to drop the spare tire to um, gain access to this vent valve. But on this, uh, you can see here, I got the spare tire taken down. And if you look right up in here, right there is that little bugger. And I just needed two, two, ton, two ten, 10 millimeter bolts and a flat blade screwdriver to get this disconnected. But as you can see, it bolts right to the canister itself. And um, typically your purge valve is going to be located on the canister or by the canister whereas the purge valve is going to be located underneath the hood typically. But uh, yeah, just want to do a quick video on that and um, I would avoid uh, aftermarket uh, purge valves because I've had, I've ran into this problem a couple times. So um, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.